This is a short training video for using the Dairy Module as part of the Idaho Farm Bureau's MAC program, which is short for Moving Agriculture to the Classroom. All MAC teaching modules have three things in common. First, all modules are mobile and can be easily transported from the MAC trailer into any main level gymnasium or classroom of a school. Second, all modules are made to be fun and interactive for the students. And finally, the modules come with a book, not just any book, a big book, that allows anyone to facilitate the discussion with very little preparation. It takes around 20 to 25 minutes to set up the dairy module. The first thing you will do is unload a few supplies from the trailer. There's a big book of dairy that is kept in a canvas cover. This also comes with a large easel for holding the pages. The second step is to roll out the fiberglass cow so that the cow is resting on her wheels. To do this, simply lift up the front and back and remove the blocks. This will allow you to roll the cow into the school close to an electrical outlet. The width of the cow was designed to be a little narrower than the average schoolhouse door. There will also be a bin labeled dairy that contains plastic cups that also needs to be moved into the school. When the cow is in the proper place, pull the pins on the wheel junctions and remove the wheels so that the cow is firm on the floor. Next, take the water thermos from the trailer and fill it with water from a water source in the school such as a janitor's closet or the kitchen. Bring water to the cow, remove the milking bucket from under the udder and expose the collection reservoir. Do a quick check to make sure the drain valve is turned off. If it looks good, pour the water into the reservoir. Now, just as a precaution, go ahead and open up the side flap on the cow. Make sure the water return hose is properly inside the collection tank inside the cow's belly. If the hose is in, go ahead and plug in the cow. You will start to see the pump bringing the water from the lower reservoir to the upper collection tank. This should keep the udders full for the students' milking activity. Students in this module will learn that milk is used to create butter. Small plastic containers and lids are found in the trailer that students will use to shake heavy whipping cream into butter. Because the whipping cream is perishable, it is not stored in the trailer, but brought in by the volunteers on the day of the activity. The plastic containers are filled halfway before the students are arrived. It doesn't hurt to make sure the lids are on tight and the containers are wrapped in a paper towel just in case something gets loose. Now it's show time. Students will most likely come to your station as a small group. Have the students sit on the floor in front of the big book of dairy and give them the basic instructions to shake their plastic container cups telling them that they are making butter. Make sure the students don't squeeze too tightly or the lid may crack and make a mess. The big book will provide you with plenty of questions for a good conversation about dairy. For example, page one will ask about different cow breeds. Most likely they have seen dairy cows like Holsteins or Jerseys. Page two talks about dairy inputs with food and water. The discussion teaches the students that cows can eat 100 pounds of food a day and drink up to 35 gallons of water the size of a bathtub. Page 3 is very important to let them know that a happy and comfortable cow makes a good dairy cow. So dairies take steps to keep them comfortable and give them medicine when they are sick. Page 4 highlights technology and ways for cows to be quickly moved into the milking parlor to be milked. Students learn the cows feel more comfortable after they've been milked. Page 5 shows students that many people work to get milk from the milking parlor to the refrigerator at their local grocery store. Page 6 discusses all the products that come from milk. This is a good opportunity to talk about what we wouldn't have if we didn't have dairies. You do not need to follow the book question for question. Change a few things depending on the time allotment you have and what you feel would be interesting for that specific age of your students. After a brief discussion, the kids are allowed to approach the cow three or four at a time to practice milking. 
Show the students how to squeeze from the top and not pull on the teat. Remember, you'll need to leave 5 to 10 minutes at the end for kids to open their containers to see their butter. Some areas will bring crackers or something for the kids to put their butter on. Even more fun is to combine this with the wheat module and have the students put their butter on the pancakes they helped to create. When the presentation is over, lift up on the cow and reattach the wheels using the pins. The cow can be moved to an outside lawn and the release valve will allow the bottom reservoir to drain. If the top is still full, one of the teats on the udder can be unscrewed, releasing the water from the top. The cow will then go back into the trailer and lift it up onto the travel blocks. We hope that this is a fun and rewarding experience for everyone who gets a chance to help the future generations better understand the importance of dairy and agriculture in our world.